Alrighty, kidlings. We got July the 20th here from lovely downtown Pai, Thailand. July 20th. When you ask another person to do something, it may help both him and you. If you do, if you tell him what to do, why he should do it, when he should do it, where he should do it, and how he may best do it. Uh, wow. Okay. This ought to be interesting. Let's see what old Napoleon's got up his sleeve. We are all influenced by our background and experience. We perceive instructions in the context of our education, experience, heritage, culture of our organization, and a number of other variables. Good managers know this, and they make sure that their instructions are clear, concise, and well understood. They also know that they must walk a fine line between conveying adequate instructions and killing workers' incentive by not allowing them sufficient latitude to do their jobs. You may strike the right balance between instruction and motivation by encouraging employees to participate in setting object objectives for themselves and their team, helping them develop a plan for achieving their goals and by making sure each individual clearly understands the team's mission, his or her role in achieving it. Suggesting that team members check in occasionally to report their progress then get out of the way and cheer them on the victory. All right, so at first it was like, tell them how to wipe their ass. I'm like, what? Because that's counterintuitive to good leadership. And I was trying to figure out where he was going, but really he, in the last paragraph, he wrapped it up where you basically give them a task to do and explain to them how that task fits into the overall mission of your organization. So as I was reading that, I was thinking about One Realty Corp and the brokerage and how, you know, the agents are all independent contractors, entrepreneurs. Um, but we are working for a common goal, which is to help people with real estate and buying and selling houses. So, um, you know, I talked about that often in my training and I did exactly what he said, good advice, which is to, you know, say, hey, what do you want to do, you know, in your life? How, what are your goals? And then by understanding how their goals fit into the overall goal of the unit, which is One Realty Corp, then, you know, we say, okay, well, if you want to reach your goals, you need to do this many listings, you know, for this much money or whatever their goal was, right? And we break it down into small segments. And then you don't micromanage, which is what I thought he was getting at in the beginning. You just encourage and support and say, you know, how are you doing with that first milestone on your goal? How can I help you, you know, get there? So that's what he's talking about. So you've probably heard that in other places or read that in other books that you need to set goals and you need they need to be in writing and they need to be specific and they need to be achievable, right? Now, don't be afraid to have a, a, what they call a BHAG, a big, hairy-ass goal, a, a goal that scares you. You'll see a lot of people say, if your goals don't scare you, they're not big enough, and I agree with that. But to get to that goal, right, to get to that BHAG goal, it's, you're going to have to take baby steps. You're going to have to uh, achieve certain milestones uh, and mini goals. So if you have a goal to retire in five years, what's that? That's a very big goal. Well, what's that look like in the next 90 days? Right, and then now you work on achieving the 90-day goal with the idea that the 90-day goal gets you to your five-year goal, right? Because your five-year goal is, is huge. You can, how do you eat an elephant? You know, one bite at a time. So you break your big goal that scares you a little bit, but you really, really want bad into smaller goals, 90 days, six months, a year. And when, at the end of the year, when you've accomplished those goals, you're that much closer to your five-year goal or 10-year goal. It depends, you know, depends upon you, depends upon how big your goal is, how long it will take, and sometimes you'll surprise yourself and hit your goal faster than you thought you would, so, like me. Awesome. All right, take care, guys.